Welcome to my first video. My name is Randy, and I am doing videos under a swarm of comics. I couldn't think of a better catchy name, and I'm in a band called Swarm of Eyes, so it sort of just made sense. But welcome to my lousy microphone and blurry USB cam video talking about comic books and my comics and CBGC submissions and anything like that we might find interesting that I babble about to the camera. So uh, I decided to do videos because I've collected comic books for 40 years and I just got serious as a collector for an investment, uh, investment purposes in the past year or so. And for building up my collection and for um, building up my collection for more of the golden age stuff and also looking into the slabbing thing. I had never slabbed comics before. This week, I have my first batch. I have some slab comics, as you can see a few in the background, because I feel like all the YouTubers have these fancy walls full of expensive slabbed books. I've just got a few fun ones that happen to be there. Um, I actually had never owned any slab books before a year ago, not even a year ago, uh, except for one, which I'm going to do a separate video about because I think it's really cool. Um, I bought that from a friend about 10 years ago. It was the only slabbed book I had had my whole life until... Uh, last year. So now I've started to obviously pick up uh, the pace a little bit and I've decided to start slabbing my own books, books that I've been collecting forever. Um, and I've been working with a guy I met at a yard sale who was looking at comics when I was. His name's Tommy Anderson and he's been doing comic pressing and he also submits books uh, for himself, but he's decided he wanted it. He was cool with submitting them for me and helping me out. So I will see if he's interested in having his information put down in the links below. I know we're always supposed to say that, like, oh, look in the links below. Like, if you don't know what below is. Or, hey, look at these videos. These are my other ones here. Jim from Bronzeville Comics is great for that. I love Jim from Bronzeville Comics. He's my inspiration. His videos are terrible, and they're not super edited, and he doesn't have a fancy background. So he's kind of my idol on there. I hope to meet him at a Comic-Con someday. But anyway... Um, Tommy Anderson helped me um, press and submit my first CGC books. I have to make sure I'm looking at the camera too, by the way. Um, and uh, what I want to do is just go over the first batch. Um, we did 25 books. 19 of them were vintage and six of them were high value. So I'll speed through this so it doesn't take forever. I wanted to do an unboxing video, but when I opened the box for the first time, because I'd never done it before, I saw all the grades right off the bat. So it was kind of ruined. I'm going to go through them and give you a little background on each one of them, just as to why I submitted it and where it came from and things like that. Um, so I'm going to start, and I know I'm going to have a glare from my computer screen and stuff like that, but I'm going to, I'm going to try and not. So uh, anyway, my first book here is Amazing Spider-Man number 14. It is in a, I should probably lean back, see my Chamber of Chills shirt too. Pretty cool. So my first book here is a Amazing Spider-Man number 14. It is a 1.5 off-white pages. It's the first appearance of the Green Goblin. And also the Enforcers appear, which is obviously the most important part of the book. Um, the book presents pretty well. Um, it's a little beat up, and uh, but it's got a 1.5, and that was expected. It's pretty, pretty. This book is the example of why you would want to slap stuff. I know a lot of people say, I would never slap things. I don't slap books. I want to open them, want to read them. Now, this, this book has got the Marvel chipping started, and it's a little wonky. This is a book you want to preserve. Uh, if I want to read this, I'll go find a reprint or read it in the PDF online. And, uh, but anyway, I like this book. It's first appearance of Green Goblin. I had it for a long time. I probably paid you know, $10 for it or $20 for it a long time ago. And I never thought to get a better grade on it because I really wasn't thinking about investing. I just wanted my amazing Spider-Man run. So anyway, that was the first book. This is the first one I pulled out. And it's a 1.5. Kind of thought it was going to be a 1.0. So I was a little uh, um, happy. With I was happy with the grade that it came in on top. So that was the first one. All right. Next book moving on to. This was a book that I had. I didn't even realize I had. I didn't even realize I had the first appearance of Galaxia. Galactus and the second appearance of Silver Surfer. I had tens of thousands of comic books. And I sold most of them, and I sort of kept uh, a batch of the nicer 
was here. That was about four or five years ago. And um, this uh, this is, the, as you know, like I said, first appearance of Galactus, second appearance of Silver Surfer. Pretty cool, awesome book. Decent mid-grade, four and a half. I would say that was a pretty good surprise. It's pretty, pretty good condition. It's a little beat up. Maybe the staples, the little staple tears, but it's still all attached. So no complaints there. Pretty happy about the four and a half there. So cool. That was the second book. Off white to white pages. They all look yellow to me in any vintage book. I don't know how anybody tells the difference, but that's probably why I'm not a creator. Moving on to the next book. This is one I think I picked up for about $20 or $25 at my LCS. That's a local comic shop. I'm learning all of these acronyms as I get deeper into watching YouTube videos and go down the YouTube rat hole of comic channels. So there's LCS and FMV and PC. Um, I didn't know any of these, but now I know them. So anyway, this is Iron Man number one. Iron Man number one, and it came in at a 4.5. And pretty pleased with that. I think the cover is pretty good. I feel like it probably could have been a five. It's got kind of a blunted corners and, you know, where it is. It's got the cool stamp on the back. You won't see it, but February 2nd, 1968. I think that's kind of cool. So that was a cool one to have. I didn't really realize that. I just kind of had it in a plastic bag. I don't even know if I had a board on it. But I had Iron Man one, so I got that slapped. That was a pretty good investment. Next book I have here is another one that was a surprise on the grade. I didn't grade them beforehand. I didn't say, like, I think it's a four. And then, you know, you get the grades back and it's like, oh, it's only a three. And you get angry. Um, also, I don't get as excited. Like, Jim from Bronzeville Comics has his dollar bill gun and he shoots dollar bills when he's all excited about stuff. Maybe I should be more excited in the end. That's what people are looking for. But anyway. This is Fantastic Four, number three. This one came in at a five. Oh, pretty nice cover. It's got a crease down the whole middle. Um, probably is a little bit of a spine roll, and it has cream to off white pages. So I feel like if it didn't have cream to off white pages and something, I could have been even higher, but pretty good book. Probably paid 30 or 35 bucks for it many years ago. It's just been sitting around in my collection. So pretty excited to have Fantastic Four, number three. Moving on. This next book is kind of the only one I was disappointed on. Like I said, I didn't try and guess grades beforehand, but I've had this book for a very long time. I paid $85 for it in 1990. I remember how much I paid for it. I had it on layaway and I got it at a discount because my friend worked at the store. His name was Mike Hem and um, Mike Hemian. And um, I feel this book is in better condition. I think this grade was too low especially if I look at the other books that I just got slapped that have the same grade, I definitely feel like this is better. So a little disappointed, but it is what it is. And it was pressed and I do like it, but it is Avengers number four, first modern appearance of Captain America. So if you could see, it's gonna be all blurry. You won't see, I don't know why anybody holds things up to the screen. Um, first Silver Age appearance of Captain America. Steve Rogers and the Submariner appears. It does have a crease over here, and that must be what it is. And it does have a bit of a spine roll. The staples look good. The cover is absolutely clean. It's got off-white pages. Is off-white pages going to be the death of me? I, how did I not know about this stuff 35 years ago to, to not get off-white pages? But anyway, still a beautiful book. Presents amazing. Worth good money. 5.0. So anyway. That was a great book, but a little disappointing. And again, I paid $85 for it. And by the time you grade a high grade book, what am I into it for? With shipping and the pressing, maybe I'm in for $200 total on that. So one more book. This book is a book I actually just bought recently at a great store called um, Little Giant Comics. It's down in Salem, New Hampshire, in the Mall of New Hampshire. No, the Salem Mall, whatever they call the mall, Walkingham Mall. So Guy Jason owns a store, him and his family run it, and he's got a great store. He's got the best wall books around. He has belt buckles and hood ornaments and World War II memorabilia and sports cards and shit tons of comics. Am I allowed to swear? I guess it's my channel. I can swear. I don't know who I'm looking at off camera to ask. There's nobody there but the dog is over there. So 
Jason runs a great store and he got in a collection and like a guy came in, inherited some books from his dad and uh, he brought in a shoebox full of them that he thought were worth money. I mean, it had like Hulk, Incredible Hulk number one. I think it had the first six Incredible Hulk, the first six or eight X-Men duplicates of some of those. But this book was the only kind of the one that I was super interested in that was probably in my price range. So I did pay good money for this and it was wrong and I got it slabbed. And this book, converse to the last one, came in much higher than I thought. Um, my guess was this was going to come in at a three and a half, maybe a four, but it came in at a five dollar. Oh, and yes, there's a million of them. And yes, everybody still wants it. And yes, it's a super expensive, high value book. That came in at a five dollar. Oh, it has a crease right up and a crease across here. The back looks really good. Off white to white pages. That's pretty good. And if you weren't familiar with this, he said sarcastically, this is the first full appearance of Wolverine. Not the first appearance. That's 180, which I think I want to get next. But I wish I got it before it started to skyrocket. That book was a book that you could get fairly cheap for a long time. But now even that one is a lot of money. So this was the first appearance of Logan, 1974, Incredible Hulk, 181. Pretty cool book, presents well. The colors are great, the yellows, reds, and whites. So that was my first batch of books that I got submitted. That was the high value. They came back in the first box. There was six of those. So um, hopefully I can continue to do more videos. I'm going to do one for the other 19. The other 19 books that I got, with, I'll do in a follow-up video. I'll go through those quicker. All Amazing Spider-Man. As I pulled them out of the box, I've already looked at them. Um, I realized they were all Amazing Spider-Man. So... If you like Amazing Spider-Man and you want to see a bunch of old vintage books, um, stick around for that video. Um, and maybe next time I'll have a fancy microphone so it looks like I'm in like a, a movie studio or a recording studio or a radio station like Rise Comics and stuff like that. I guess I don't have those production values yet. I got to work on that. Um, but, uh, but good for those guys. So anyway, my name is Randy. Again, this is Swarm of Comics and... Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate the both of you that are going to watch this and they're probably my friends and they're going to be guilted into watching this. But anyway, I don't have a way to sign off. Signing off or thank you very much or bye-bye. I don't have anyone good to say.